Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to take a look at two differenti differentiation rules that are kind of following the same idea, and that is the sum rule and the difference rule for dif differentiation. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, so let me start by giving you an example because this is just what makes it easier for us to know what's going on. So imagine I have the, the following. Now traditionally, we've always dealt with this so far in this little video series. We might have a sum for or a, a function like say, for example, j of x equals x to the third. And we know if we want to find the derivative of that, so j prime x, if you will, it would be 3x squared. We've learned that in the past from prior videos. But what we're going to learn now is, is that what if we have a function that has two terms, a binomial term, or it could have more than that, but we're going to focus on two terms. So let's say we have j, j of x uh, equals, now we got x to the third plus x to the fourth. Now that we have two terms, and we can have more than that, and these are two terms that have you know a variable, an x value, an unknown, an unknown quantity, quantity, if you will. Now, you know, intuitively we know what to do, but we're going to actually learn what the actual rule is for this in this particular video, and that is going to be the summation rule, which because this time we have a plus sign, but we can also, if we want, if we had a minus sign here, it would be the difference rule for differentiation. So essentially how you solve this is that you just take each, each term by itself and you find the derivative of that. So um, the basic rule is kind of something along the lines of this. The derivative of a sum of a function, um, so when you have one function, oh, how do you make this clear? The derivative of the sum of a function f and the function g is the same as the sum of the derivative of f, derivative of f and the derivative of g. So in other words, what I'm saying here is this, is that this right here, if we were to try to draw it out, it would look like this. So if I want to find the derivative here, it's going to be basically the derivative of this guy. So whatever he's going to be, the derivative of the first one, so d of dx, if you will, of x to the 3. And then it's going to be d of dx of x to the 4. That's, that's kind of how it works out. You know, again, this is, you know, sloppy handwriting, but you get the point is that you can do them together or you can do them separately and it's the same thing. So in other words, to make this as simple as possible, essentially what we're going to have here is we're going to have 3x squared because that's the derivative of the first term, if you will, of the first, you know, function, if you will. And then it's going to be plus 4x to the third, which is the derivative of the second function. That's kind of what we're trying to say. And so if we wanted to try to, to draw this out in terms of just abstractly, what we're going to be looking at is something as follows. J prime is going to equal F of X plus G of X. And so therefore that means that J, I mean J of X, I'm sorry, not J prime. This, this is a mistake. This is not a prime here, sorry. So J prime now is going to be, J prime X is going to be the same as the derivative of x plus the derivative of g of x. That's what's happening. So the derivative of a function can be the same as the derivative of two, of two, in the two functions added together, if you will. It's, it's the same concept. And so to give you another example here, if we were to look at something like, you know, let's say we have g of x equals x to the fifth plus x to the third, well, then the derivative of this will be, you take the individual terms, find the derivative of those terms, and then add them together. So it's going to be 5x to the fourth plus 3x squared, like that. That's what's happening. And so again, now the only difference here, no pun intended, is that if there's a minus sign, for example, if you have, we'll just use g of x again, and this time you have 3, uh, excuse me, x to the third minus x to the fourth. The same principle applies, but said now you have a minus sign. And so you'll have 3x squared minus 4x to the third. 
So when you deal with the derivative, derivative as a whole, it's the same as if you deal with it in parts. So the derivative of g, g of x, which is x3 to minus 4, is the same as the derivative of g of x. It's the same as the derivative of x to the third minus the derivative of x to the fourth. That's what we're trying to say here. And uh, trying to deal with the summation, the sum rule, and the difference rule when dealing with different di uh, derivatives. Excuse me. So uh, let me kind of summarize what we talked about here and conclude the video. So in this particular video, we talked about the sum rule and the difference rule for derivative, derivatives for the purpose of differentiation. And basically what's happening here is that now we're moving to the point where we have more than one term that we're trying to find the derivative of. And so the derivative of a function is the same as the derivative of you know, term A plus the, the derivative of term B or minus if it's a minus sign. And so it's basically the same idea, it's just that now you're adding the plus or minus sign as it is appropriate, which here is all pluses, and then on the next screen it was a minus. That's essentially it. So nothing really new and complicated here, just adding that next layer of complexity. So my name is Darren Thomas, I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.